This is Iris from Cashmere Goat, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you about how to knit a flat looking gauge swatch, but have it behave like a circular knit in the round piece of knitting. This is really essential when you are going to be knitting a garment in the round, something like a hat or a sweater knit in the round, you wanna also swatch in the round as well. And that's to maintain consistency because a lot of us end up purling at a slightly tighter tension than we knit. So there can be some variability if you just knit a straight up back and forth, knit one row, purl one row, knit one row to get a stockinette fabric, that will not be as true of a swatch if you end up knitting your garment fully in the round. So that's why we're doing this today. Let's take a peek at what we've got here in front of us. We've got a small swatch. We like a you know big enough swatch as you can do, but I've got a double pointed needle I'm showing you. Of course, you can use a circular needle. That also works great. But for the purposes of this video, I thought the double point would be a little easier to see. I've got a row of a border of seed stitch on either side and seed stitch at the bottom, and I'll end my swatch with seed stitch at the top as well. This is so that the, the swatch lies flat, um, the edges don't curl, and so when I read a pattern, the designer may say, you know, 16 stitches per four inches. So I would have 16 in the center, and then I'd add three or four if you prefer, and three or four, so I'd have you know, 16 plus three plus three is 22. And so that's the number that I would cast on and get going with. So let's take a look at how this technique works. The first thing and the really easy thing is I'm just gonna start knitting because my working yarn is right here where it usually is. So I'm gonna pause the video and catch right back up with you when I am down at this end. Okay, so I have knit my way down. My working yarn is at this end of my needle. And typically I would just be, oh, time to purl, but we're not doing that with this special swatching technique. We are going to leave this front side because that's where my marker is facing us. But then how the heck do we get the yarn back at this end so that I can knit my way back? And the way we do this is we add some excess and we measure it out so it's three times, three lengths, the length of my knitting roughly. So that's one, two, three. And then I'm adding just like a little bit more, maybe a half more so that I have plenty. And what I do, and this is always a little awkward because I'm trying to do it on film, is I push my, my stitches right back down to where I'd be ready to work again. And I'm gonna head in with my needle. I'm pinching this little place marker that holds the, where I measured it out. Um, and over here is my ball of yarn. Ooh, that is falling apart. Okay, so using my little pinch point, I am going to go in for my first knit stitch. And so for the second stitch, I wanna be real careful that I'm not using this messy ball of yarn, which is attached to this thread. Instead, I'm picking up this loop-de-loop -loop with all that excess that I measured out. So I'm up for a purl because remember I'm doing my um, my little seed stitch border. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this, knit to the end, and show you what to do next. Okay, so I've made my way over to the end. I'm knitting with this little loop here, and it's starting to get a little bit small, and that's always like kind of like nerve wracking, which is why sometimes I might overestimate with my loop. But you can see I'm doing my little pearl. And this is my little bitty, little bitty loop left. Oh my gosh, did I underestimate? Oh my goodness. I think I can just make it. Whew, look at that. All right, so now here's my swatch. Working yarns at this end and I'm just ready to slide up and keep on going with my swatch in the round. And that is that for this video. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up or leave us a comment if it helped you. And hope you subscribe to our channel. And the next time you're in Camden, Maine, come and visit us at Cashmere Goat. Thanks so much for watching. Happy making.